hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to configure the static ip address on eve ng um, as you can see right now i have my private ip address at 192.168.0.100 it's configured statically in eve ng but if you want to change it to another ip address or if we or if we if you um, get a different ip address every time you start even g is because you did not set that ip address statically um in even g so i'm going to show you how to do that uh, so first let's go ahead and bring up even g uh, over here so what we the first thing you need to do you need to log in um the default pa uh, login username is root and the password is eve um so from here what you need to do is you need to do this command to and this command, what it does is it just removes the configuration. OVF, you need to do an um, RM minus F. Then we're going to go to OPT, OVF, dot configure. And that's going to remove that configuration. Then after that, you want to do a SU and then a minus sign. And after you do that, it's going to ask you for the even G password, um, which is the default password let's see if it lets me type eve eve you can also change the host name i'm going to leave it as eve ng the domain name you can go ahead and set it over here as well and then over here you want to select static so you want to do you want to use the space bar for that you do the space bar and that's select static then press ok and from over here you want to go ahead and configure your ip address and i'm going to set up to 150 um, the subnet which is slash 24 uh, if you want to if you have a default gateway mine is 192.168.0.1 if you have a dns primary i'm just going to set up to the google one not a secondary one if you want to set up ntp you can also do it over here if you have an ntp server also if you if you are using a proxy you can go ahead and select it over here since i'm using direct connection i'm going to leave it as default and there we go so that's going to reboot and it's going to give me my static IP address that I set up, which is 192.168.0.150. So let's go ahead and give it a couple of seconds. And since that is going on, let's go ahead and go to, um, you can see right here, it is starting and it's going to start and it's going to give me that static IP address. So every time I reboot, it's going to give me the same a static IP address. So if you don't set up a static IP address, um, while you on the lab, what it happens is that I think it's like every a couple minutes is going to get a new IP address. So if it keeps getting a new IP address, then you are going to get disconnected from even G and you don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and go to that server. Since it's not that 100 anymore, I won't be able to connect. So if you reload, it's not going to connect. So you want to go to 150. Or to whatever IP that you set up to, you want to do advance and accept the risk and continue. And there we go. So we are in even G. The default username is admin, and the default password to log in into the GUI is Eve. So username admin and password is Eve, unless you change the username and password. And there we go. So we are now logged in into even G. So every time you reboot even G, you're still going to get the same IP address, and also that's going to resolve your disconnection. Um, because it's going to get an IP address like every a couple minutes. So where you labbing, um, and if you have set up to dynamically get an IP address, it's going to keep changing your IP address and it's going to disconnect you from even G. So thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of contents on Cisco CCMP security exam. I'm also doing Palo Alto, GNS3, I'm doing a lot of stuff. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have a Twitter account, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at um, CCNA Daily Tips. If you have a Twitter account over here, and if you don't have a Twitter account, go ahead and create a Twitter account because I know you have a G, uh, an email. So if you have if you have an email, go ahead and create a Twitter account and then follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. This is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one, guys, and I love you. Bye bye.